Hey guys, it's Chris. From a guy in an alligator suit to the woman who got attacked by a jaguar and apologized to it after. Here are 10 wild stories of people who went into animal pens and paid the price. Number 10. Monkey Business At the El Paso Zoo in Texas, a woman named Lucy Ray broke into the monkey exhibit. She literally climbed over the fence and walked through their little monkey pond to try and feed them. But these are spider monkeys, and they're highly dangerous and they're wildly unpredictable. They didn't even take the food she was offering, and after a minute she casually walked back out of the enclosure as if it was no big deal. The zoo didn't even know it happened until later on. They only heard about it through the grapevine of social media, at which point they got a hold of the woman's name and charged her with criminal trespassing. The zoo says that now they probably need to install a bigger fence, but in all honesty, you'd think the zoo would have already had a fence big enough that people couldn't simply vault themselves over it, right? Seeing as it's 2021, this woman's actions cost her her job. According to NBC News, she'd been working at Lovett Law Firm, but once they found out about the incident, she was fired on the spot and deemed irresponsible and reckless. The law firm she'd been working for then went on to give their hope that the monkeys would recover from their traumatic experience. And the monkeys are going to be just fine, let's be clear. In fact, the woman's also going to be just fine. Because less than 48 hours after she was identified and dismissed, she was immediately hired by another law office who blasted her former employee on social media for cancelling a single mother and taking away her livelihood. Her lawyer wrote this to the firm that fired her. At least the monkey had a Cheeto because you're trying to starve the human child, Lucy's child. Get off your high horse and face the fact that you twisted a gift of a Cheeto into a capital crime and then invited the whole city to attack Lucy. Shame on you. So what do you think? Who was in the wrong here? The oversensitive law firm or the reckless woman? Number 9. Taunting the Bear This one really makes you shake your head in pure disbelief at how foolish people can be. A man at the Minnow Zoo in North Dakota broke into the bear enclosure, taunted the bear, and was subsequently attacked by the bear. Late on a Saturday night, David Shepard, just 21 years old, had the great idea to scale the fence at the zoo. He snuck all the way to the bear enclosure and then tried to push himself through the bars of its cage. He was then attacked and sent to the emergency room after the bear tried to shred his face off. He was treated for injuries sustained during the attack and admitted that he and his friend had been under the influence of alcohol when they decided to break into the zoo. In other words, man, they were wasted. It really makes you wonder what kind of security the zoo has if a couple of drunk kids can climb over the fence and sneak into this bear enclosure. According to CBS News, they've both been charged with criminal trespassing and David got away extremely lucky considering he tangled with a bear and then he only suffered minor injuries. Number 8. Lion Attack In South Africa, there's a lion sanctuary within the Dino Ken Game Reserve. It's owned and operated by a guy known as the Lion Whisperer. His real name is Kevin Richardson, and you may recognize him from his incredible videos online, where he has close encounters with lions, appearing to hug them and play with them like they're just big friendly dogs. Well, this guy's animal sanctuary isn't quite as safe as it should be. A woman was just mauled to death inside of it while Kevin was taking his big cats for a walk. The woman never saw it coming. She wasn't even a guest at the park. She had gone with a friend to conduct an interview for an assignment that she had. They were at a tented camp also inside the game reserve, and also owned by Kevin Richardson. When he was taking the lions for a walk, one of them got away, ran 1.2 miles to the tent camp and attacked the poor young woman while she and her friends were taking photographs as part of a school project. She didn't even know it, but she had walked straight into the biggest lion enclosure in the world and she paid for that with her life. Number 7. Alligator Suit A man dressed up like an alligator and jumped into an alligator pond. His name was Gary Sarich, and he pretended to be an alligator while swimming inside of a wildlife sanctuary in Texas. No, he's not crazy, although maybe he is a little bit. The act was for an experiment, and the experiment was simple. Gary did his best to look like a legit alligator. He swam around in the water and he teased every alligator he could find. And the whole point was to see what kind of reaction he would get from these giant reptiles. In the end, the only reactions he got were confusion. None of the alligators really paid him that much attention. None of them tried to bite him in the face, and to be quite honest, it didn't look like any of them really bought his alligator disguise. Whenever Gary got too close to a gator, it would simply run away and not deal with the situation. They were definitely more confused and bothered than really anything else. The experiment went on until Gary had harassed every single last alligator in the enclosure. And then, after nothing really crazy happened, 
Gary gave up the disguise and called it a day. So, uh, what do you think about this gator experiment? Should Gary just leave these alligators alone? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 6. Tiger Attack at Big Cat Rescue At Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida, a woman almost lost her arm after being attacked by a tiger. You might recognize this as the animal sanctuary run by the infamous Carol Baskin, who may or may not have murdered her husband and had his body eaten by tigers. Candy Kauser, a 69-year-old volunteer working at Carol's Wildlife Sanctuary, had her arm almost ripped off. The woman had been volunteering with the organization for five years. But even after so long, it's still possible to make a serious mistake. The woman made the horrible decision to stick her arm through the cage and into the tiger's enclosure. And she did it during feeding time. The tiger saw the arm and with one great swipe of its paw, nearly took it clean off at the shoulder. After the incident, Big Cat Rescue made a statement saying that their protocols forbid anyone from sticking body parts into the cages. In other words, it was the woman's own fault that her arm was almost torn off at the shoulder. She was taken to the hospital with her arm broken in three places, but she was still able to move her fingers. In all likelihood, she'll get to keep the arm, but she'll be traumatized for life. Number 5. Rampaging Hippo in Calgary, Canada, staff members at the city zoo risked their lives to stop a hippopotamus from escaping after a flood gave the hippo the means to do so. Because the water got so high, the hippo had easily escaped his holding area and was just kind of moseying around through the flooded zoo, doing whatever he wanted. The big danger was that the hippo could have easily smashed through the glass front doors and taken off through the water to wherever he felt like. The surrounding area was flooded, and the hippo could have easily swum into the nearby river and then been gone. And that would have been really bad news since hippos are the most dangerous animals in all of Africa. They're highly aggressive, and if the hippo felt like attacking one of the zookeepers, well, it probably wouldn't end well for the human. Hippos have one of the strongest bite forces of all animals, at 1,800 pounds per square inch. So the zookeepers bravely entered the enclosure and barred all the exits with cinder blocks, sandbags, and even construction equipment. And while they hurried to block the hippo's escape, the dangerous animal was swimming just a few feet away like a fat purple potato, with just its back barely visible through the water. Eventually, the staff members did secure the hippopotamus and nobody got injured, but it was a pretty tense situation. Number 4. Missing Arm Speaking of arms and cages, this next one is about a wolf and a toddler, and it does not end well. Authorities recently had to investigate the Howling Timbers Animal Sanctuary in Michigan after a little girl lost her arm in a tragic accident. She was only two years old at the time, and after she reached into a cage to pet a wolf-dog hybrid, it bit her arm clean off at the elbow. What makes this case even more shocking is that the little girl is the granddaughter of the owner of the sanctuary. Talk about negligence. The grandmother, whom officials identified as Brenda Pearson, claims that her granddaughter Sophia was not actually bitten, but that she lost her arm when it got stuck in the fence. Yeah, sure, Grandma. The officials working on the case said the animal was a hybrid cross between a wolf and a dog, which is actually illegal to own in the state of Michigan without the appropriate permits. One officer even said in a statement that no human person should be allowed near the animals, and it's not fair that the child lost her arm. During searches of the property, officers found 47 illegal wolf dogs, three coyotes, six foxes, and four eastern box turtles. The facility is unlicensed and shouldn't technically even be in operation. Number 3. Pokemon Go at the Zoo A couple of people in Ohio were playing Pokemon Go in the tiger enclosure at the Toledo Zoo. As bizarre as this sounds, it really did happen. Two players broke into the zoo, climbed over the fence, and began wandering dangerously close to the tigers in search of Pokemon. They were caught on the security camera at the zoo and promptly arrested. They've since been charged with criminal trespassing, though nobody was hurt or attacked by any animals throughout the entire affair which is extremely lucky for everyone. The couple may not have even known where they were, being so focused on the game. But do you buy that? I mean, maybe they thought the tigers in the enclosure were just Pokemon, but of course, they would have known the difference real quick if one of the tigers had pounced on them. Number 2. Bashed by Tiny Monkeys In New Zealand, yet another man broke into yet another zoo. And yes, he was wasted. But instead of facing off against the biggest animal he could find, this guy got into a brawl with a gang of tiny monkeys and lost. He actually entered the zoo with the intention of stealing a monkey, a squirrel monkey to be exact. This guy's name is John Casford, 
and he himself admitted that he was high as a kite when he snuck past the unsecure gate, smashed through two padlocks, and then walked straight into the monkey enclosure at the Wellington Zoo. He was going to catch a squirrel monkey and take it home to show his girlfriend. The squirrel monkeys, on the other hand, well, they didn't really want to go anywhere. In the morning, John was discovered bruised with a broken leg, two of his teeth fractured, his ankle sprained, and various other minor injuries. The squirrel monkeys were all totally fine, by the way. And he initially lied to the zookeepers and said that he'd broken his leg by jumping the fence, but his lie was pretty easy to detect. He has since been sentenced to nearly three years in prison for the attempted monkey burglary and several other crimes that have preceded it. Maybe he never should have admitted to trying to steal the monkey in the first place. Probably would have got a lot less jail time if he'd just said he was under the influence. Number 1. Apologies to the Jaguar At a zoo in Arizona, a woman climbed over a barrier to take a selfie with a jaguar. Instead of getting her dream photo, she got jaguar claws ripping into her skin. The jaguar leapt on the woman. With its deadly claws, it scratched her arm pretty severely, and she was left breathless on the floor and in agony. Brave bystanders had to rush to save the woman before the jaguar ate her alive. And thank goodness for those around her. Had they not been there, she would have been a goner for sure. After the incident, the jaguar was shortly removed from the exhibit while an investigation unfolded, though it was later brought back and everything returned to normal. As for the woman who got attacked, she made a public apology, saying how sorry she was for breaking the rules. She also wanted to make it very clear that it was not the cat's fault that she was reckless and broke into its cage. After all, she basically broke into the jaguar's house, and all that cat did was protect itself. The zoo even said they'd be happy to have her back any day in the future. Thanks for watching. What do you think of these people? Did you dare break into an animal pen? Let me know about it in the comments below. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and come back again for another amazing video. We'll see you next time.